Hi. Hi there. Um, here I am. I was wondering if it's, I always wonder what the lighting is going to be like. I'm not at home, so I'm not in my studio and I don't have lighting. I'm at my daughter's having um, a visit because it was my birthday. So I'm sharing some yarn I got at a yarn haul. I, I went to Michael's yesterday. I had to drop my son off at the airport, the bus he was getting up to the Okanagan left from the airport, which is really weird. And while I was in Abbotsford, I went to their Michaels and they had a 30% off all yarn sale. And I went specifically because I needed a lot of Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick because that's the yarn that I use to make nearly all, well, all my hats, baby hats, adult hats, knit hats, crochet hats, all my fingerless gloves pretty much are made out of uh, super bulky yarn, um, Lion Brand Thick and Quick, and um, yeah, and I also have crochet kits that I put together uh, in the fall for Christmas gifting in that I sew a little um, um, fabric project bag and then I put my printed off pattern and a needle and a yarn hook and um, if it's a hat a bobble um, pom-pom in there and uh, send them off as beautiful crochet kits so I'm working on putting them together to get them on my Etsy shop soon so I needed some yarn desperately I was really getting low so I went to Michael's 30% off all the yarn now I was really disappointed because they didn't have any of the pale pink which I needed for a custom order I have right now so I'm probably going to have to go online and see if I can find find some on there and they didn't have any gray and they didn't have any black and they didn't have any of their fisherman white so it was quite disappointing let me check who's here Hi there, Angela. How are you? Thank you. It was my birthday yesterday. Yeah. So I went and I got a lot of yarn. I got two great big bags. Um, this is just one of them. And the other one I have sitting on, I'm at my granddaughter's desk right now. She's at school. So I thought I would share it with you. I'm hoping the light is going to be good enough to share. I don't have uh, any lighting here. I'm visiting. So this is the first one that I'm going to show you. And this color, it's a new color to me. It's not the oatmeal, which I'm used to. It's a color called Moonlight. And it's kind of an oatmeal-y, but it's got more gray in it than browns and beiges. And these Lion Brand yarns, Woolies Thick and Quick, if you're not familiar with them, are just so, so soft. They are 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So that's what makes them really soft. Um, and yeah, they're just a really nice yarn. And they do recommend that you use them with, uh, let me see what crochet hook they, they have. Because I use a great big giant Q hook. You can use them with like an eight millimeter uh, hook. And uh, I, I use them with a Q and when I'm uh, knitting, it's 13 millimeters or 10, I think, that I use for the knitting. I use the the ones that are on a, a string, you know, the, the hooks that are joined in the middle. So yeah, this one is called Moonlight and it's pretty. And then this one was another one because I was trying to find um, something that is neutral for the hats. This one's name is, uh, what's it say? Oh, wheat. So it's wheat. And that's another pale colored one. So, yeah. And um, in the same vein, here is my favorite one, which I use all the time. This is oatmeal. And this is my go to yarn for hats. People love that. But I thought people will love this. And I also do some Fair Isle knitted ones. So these are nice to mix in, maybe make the hat band out of and then use darker colors for the rest of them. So yeah, so those ones are the neutrals. And then I got, this one was just such a pretty color. It's a succulent and it's like a greeny um, succulent color. The lighting is not good. But if I put on the light in here, I think, Put this light on. Does that make anything better? Oh yeah, I think you can actually see the color a little bit better. Yeah, it's like a cactus kind of succulent color, and it's really soft and light. And this was a very popular color. So if you make things to sell at the market, hi Helen, thank you. 
Um, I love succulent, yeah, and it's very popular. People love it in the um, hats, beanies, and in the gloves as well because you can like make a kit, right? So that's nice. And then another one that I really like um, is this um, barley. And I use this a lot with my um, knit ones when I'm doing Fair Isle because um, you can make the, the rim of the hat like this. And I do this one pattern, which is like fir trees, where you use the kale green um, for a fir tree. So this is nice to blend with. The, it makes like an earth tone brim. And then you can be knitting up some Fair Isle little fir trees. Um, that's a popular one Christmas time. So I've got some barley. I think I might have got a couple of barley. I, yeah, I've got another one here. I did get two barley. But really, all of uh, my go-to colors, like my fisherman and my marble gray and the pink, weren't there. This one is called Spiced Apple, and this is really like an autumn color. Hmm. I, I could show you more. It looks like burgundy, but it's got a lot of rust tones in it. Maybe if I hold it this way, you can kind of see it better in there. This is my third live. They're going to get better. Every one I do, I'm sure it's going to get better. Well, when I get back home and I have my proper lighting. And this one is very similar. This one is called, what did I say it was? Spice Apple. And this one is very similar in that it's got those hot, warm, rusty autumn tones that you can see in there. But this one isn't Spiced Apple. This one's called Harvest. And it's really, it's got some beautiful tones in there. And these are really pretty, made up into hats. I'm put them down here so I don't show you things twice. And then these are all um, Woolies Thick and Quick. This one is called Black Stone, and it's kind of a charcoal gray with some uh, brownie, mauvey little threads in there, tweedy, making it kind of tweedy. And um, this will make a beautiful hat. And gloves. I don't get into scarves at the market because um, I don't find I sell a lot where I am. So hi, Helen. Uh, you're having a hard time. Yeah, I'm. It's hard to see the colors. Maybe I'll go. I'll just put the head, the light, overhead light on, and see if that makes a difference. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh yeah, a lot. Is that better? Yeah, so this is, you can see the warm colors now. That's better. And I'll show you the black stone again. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I got spoiled. All my kids were here. So that's the black stone. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do another one of these where I can just film it at home with the proper lighting. This one is called, and I'll make a proper video, not do a live. This one is called Astroland. And I think this one shows up really nicely. You can see the colors on this. Lots of pinks, um, teal, and some light sort of mustardy yellows in there. So that one is really pretty. Yeah, I think that looks better. Better for you guys to see. And then this one is a really pretty one for baby projects. Baby, and I do do newborn baby hats. But if you're also making a fair aisle, sometimes it's nice to mix in some of this with a, with a solid pink hat with a white brim. This one is called Carousel. Oh, I think we've nailed it for looking at the colors. I think this looks way better. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so that's Carousel. And I've got one more up here that's a, a wool ease thick and quick. And I love this one. This is really nice. And it's called Sea Glass. And you can see how there's grays in there. And there are some blues, very, very pale, subtle blues that you can just see in here. And then some the light color, stony color. So that's sea glass. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Now, these, I, I did get something other than Woolies Thick and Quick. And um, 
the, the reason I bought these cakes, I love these cakes, like this is made out of a cake and apparently the mandala that I made this out of, um, the, it, it's, it's a lightweight, it's a three, three weight yarn, um, is discontinued, which is really sad. But this one is a cinnamon swirl cake and it's uh, Yardspirations. And it's called, I think this one was called, uh, where's, the, where's the name of it? Honey Bun. This one's called Honey Bun. And the reason I like these is because uh, they have a lot of yardage, okay? This one has 407 yards in it. And I've got a couple of projects that I've already made. This is what I do. <laughs> I, I, I design something, I get excited and I make it. And then to have a YouTube tour, I have to make a brand new one because I've already made it. What I should be doing is recording me making it. And then I actually have the YouTube tutorial ready for when the pattern is published. So this one I have got for um, a pattern that I haven't published yet. I've got the sweater made up. It looks really nice. It's a crop sweater. And I've got it modeled by a, one of my friend's daughters. She did an amazing job modeling it. But I couldn't find the yarn because it's, uh, it's a, it was a cake, but it was a tweed. And I don't think they make it anymore. So I'm going to use this as a demo for my tutorial on YouTube. And I will end up with a second one of those sweaters, which I can use to demonstrate what it looks like when it's made up. So that's really a great thing. This, I was lucky to find this color. I really kind of like the colors in this one. So I actually got to this honey bun and I'm going to make the cropped sweater out of that and do the tutorial as I make it. So I, that's what I'm gonna do. And then this one is so pretty. Um, I just love the colors in this one. And this one, again, I think it was like a seashell kind of name. Uh, yeah, seashell, exactly what it's called, seashell. And this is going to be for my cropped sweater that I've, I've got with testers right now. They're waiting for me to actually send them the pattern. Um, and it's going to, it has a bit of a scoop neck. A lot of my patterns, they just go straight at two rectangles and they go across. I'm actually got this one where we're going to be shaping the neck a little bit. And so this is the seashell and I got two of those and this is the cotton cakes. And I love these cotton cakes. They just feel so nice when you make things up with the cotton cakes. And this one has a lot of yardage. I'm trying to find the yardage for you. Uh, yeah, it's like 530 yards in each of these skeins that we've got, cakes that we've got here. And it's a four-weight four weight yarn, just like the honey. But, you know, four-weight yarns are not all made the same. Some are slightly lighter than others. But this one is really a beautiful color, and I'm really happy I found it for 30% off at Michael's. So that was cool. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Anybody got any questions about the yarn, feel free to ask. I'm gonna try and show you some more colors. Oh, and another thing that I got that wasn't um, uh, the thick and quick was this Bernat blanket yarn, which is a six weight. And I got this color because I'm running out of these white six weight chenille type, type yarns for my mushrooms. And I, I like to make the Mushy Boy mushrooms from Chonky Crochet. And I do have, oh, no, I haven't done that. I'm supposed to share share my mushrooms. I better get that done and show you where you can find the pattern for the mushrooms that I make. Um, I like to put the link so you guys can find patterns and uh, make your own things. Okay, so that's my, my blanket, burnout blanket yarn. And we're back to... Oh, yeah, here's a succulent, and you might be able to see the color better now. I've got the light on. Yeah, it's really pretty color. And then this one, this is another carousel. I've already showed you a carousel, so I might be getting some pieces of skin and other things. And this one is... 
the sea glass. Yeah, you can see it better here. That's sea glass. Do you make things for children at all? These would be beautiful for um, any children's projects. To also really make beautiful uh, noku beanies, which is the knit beanie that I make. Um, it looks really nice in there. So I've got about four more that I really want to show you, and then I'll let you guys go. This one is um, called Metropolis. And I, this is a cool color. It's it's a black with charcoal and other grays sort of speckled in. Hopefully you can see that. So that's cool. And then I love this one. It's got a great name too, if I remember. Yeah, it's called City Lights. And this is a beautiful one. I'm going to have to make another video when I'm at home sharing this. It's so hard for you to see. There's like bright pink, um, teal, turquoise colors. Oh, I think they're starting to show up. And um, so it's quite a bright in the black. So it makes a really beautiful beanie. Yeah, so that's City Lights. And this one is this warm tone harvest. So you can get an idea of what that's like. Yeah, so I got two big bags. And then, of course, I get the old age pension, oldie seniors discount as well when I go to Michael's. So I managed to get two massive bags of yarn. And I, I've got more here. Oh, I got a blue. Oh, I didn't share these. Here is one. Look at this blue. So gorgeous. And it's called uh, bluegrass. So it's got a little bit of green in. Eh? Little bits of green. Yellowish green. Grassy green. Gorgeous. I love that one. And I, I made myself only buy one. And then this one is denim. Nice denim blue. So that's it. Uh, yeah, I went to Michael's on my way home. And I got a few more oatmeal in there. And I think I'm going to have to go online to order the pink that I really need. And the um, gray. And the, um, the white. The fishermen. They didn't have any fishermen's. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to actually, when I get home, I'm actually, from here, I'm at my daughter's. I, I was over at my sister's earlier in the week. Um, I'm going back to my island. I'm visiting friends tonight in um, Maple Ridge. And then I'm going back to my island um, either Saturday or Sunday. And when I'm home, I will get my good lighting system up and do a proper video. Uh, podcast style video where I share these and you get to see the colors more clearly. I'm so sorry. I was just so excited. I wanted to share it with everybody here. So yes, anybody got any questions? Anybody heard heard about my crochet kits? Uh, I had them last year and the year before, I think. And I, I, I just make little project bags out of cotton fabric and I chain a little um, strand that goes in to be the pull tie to pull it all closed. And then I print off the patterns. The PDFs are printed out and sent along with the yarn and whatever you need to make your project. Plus there's links to my YouTube tutorials to show you how to crochet because I have crochet tutorials for how to do a slip knot, how to do a chain, how to do a single crochet, how to do a double crochet, all of that beginner stuff. So if you're new today, I, there's some new names on here that I don't, hi from Italy. Wow, all the way over in Italy. Whereabouts are you in Italy? Are you still here? I went to Italy. I was there for, oh, I don't know, a month nearly. I went to Genova. Oh, thank you. Yes. 
check out my channel and please subscribe. And if you have any requests for any specific tutorials, right now I'm working on a color crop cardigan because I, I showed people four different garments and asked them to vote which one I should make my next tutorial on. And uh, it's a color crop, color block crop cardigan. And I have got the fronts and the back done. I just have to show how to make the sleeves and then my tutorial will be finished and up. You're in Venice. I was in Venice for two weeks and it was a fluke because uh, I went traveling for seven months on my own. And so I, I did a, it was 10 years ago and I did like 10 days in each place. So I was in Venice, in, in Venice for 10 days and it just happened I was there during the carnival. I didn't realize there was a carnival. I was at my friend's in England and she says, I think you're going to be in Venice when it's the carnival. And I says, what's the carnival? And uh, it's beautiful. And I stayed in a hostel right on the um, on one of the canals and the people there were so kind to me. I was there for 10 days and uh, they lent me boots when there was the high water and uh, I needed to get around. Managed to go on the gondola and have some walking tours and met some friends from England who were there with a group of people showing their costumes off in the, in the carnival, which was a coincidence. I didn't know they were going to be there. That was nice. Yes, it's a very beautiful city. Anyway, I will probably let you guys go. Thank you so much for joining the live. I think these uh, get posted on my um, channel and it will be under live, but I am going to do a yarn haul proper podcast video with better light so that I can share all the really nice colors. Thank you very much for the birth birthday wishes. I've been act actually spoiled. My son came down from Panticton, which is four hours away. My daughter came up from Spokane. It's like a seven hour drive and we we're all together. My daughter came out from New West and we all had our birthday together here with my daughter and her, my two grandchildren. So it's lovely. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. I'm Pam Carr, and please check out Caraway Crochet if you're interested in crochet. And um, oh, yes, September, there's a lot of birthdays in September. <laughs> so many, so many. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody, and take care of yourselves and have a wonderful day. I'm off to visit my friend and uh, her husband, and they have a pool, so you never know, I might get to go swimming today. I don't know, we'll see, might be too cold. Thank you so much, take care, happy crocheting.